more local news now. We're hearing from family members of a man killed as a result of a chase involving U.S. Marshals. Joey Bedora and his girlfriend Maria Bueller died one week ago after investigators say a driver crashed into their car while fleeing federal agents. Tony Atkins spoke with Joey's siblings about the outpouring of support they received. I just did not want to believe it. None of us did. They were supposed to be together forever. Now Joey Bedora and girlfriend Maria Bueller are being remembered. It's been really hard. Joey's brother Daryl and sister Colette say the week since the crash has been extremely difficult. They say the overwhelming support they've received has helped them get through. He wouldn't want us to be sad. He wants us to celebrate uh, the great life that he had. Maria died at the scene of the crash. Paramedics took Joey to a nearby hospital trying to save his life. But due to hospital restrictions related to COVID-19, his siblings and other loved ones couldn't enter the hospital. It was very a different um, experience than obviously we wanted. We wanted to be with our brother. Instead, they waited outside for nine hours, hoping for the best. They never did get to say goodbye in person. We just felt better being there, even though we could not be inside. A GoFundMe for the couple has so far raised more than $10,000 to support Joey and Maria's families. Daryl and Colette say both had giving hearts and their whole lives still in front of them. Yes, they're only dating for a year and a half, but they're gonna be together forever and all of us know it. And now they are just in a different place. And Joey's siblings say he was an organ donor and they will find solace in the fact that they know he will continue to help others even after his death. For now, I'm reporting on 51st and Center, Tony Atkins, TMJ4 News.